leadership in politics and governance. As we prepare for our general elections in February, we need to know that the character of political candidates is more important in determining their intent or leadership qualities. In political scene, we have often seen situations of political candidates and their party members spending more time to talk more on their personal grievances with their opponents rather than addressing the issues that Nigerians are currently facing. Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd President of the United States, once said that the future lies with those wise political leaders who realize that the great public is interested more in government than in politics. This simply means that the socioeconomic welfare of the nation is more important than their politicking. Thus, their plans on enhancing the general well-being of the citizens should be at the center of their political processes. My fellow advocates, what are your thoughts on this issue of denigrating other political candidates? Before you respond, I want to tell you something. You know, the essence of what I was saying is politicking should not distract governance. There is governance, is a continuous process, and there is politicking, the, the means to get to a certain style of governance or a certain ideology of governance. Now, let me give you an example. Following the comments of the recent comment by Asiwa Jubola Metunubu, he was making a reference to the fact that uh, the redesign of the Naira notes, which it was to drive cashless policy right by the CBN, and the fuel scarcity would kind of, or maybe is a deliberate attempt by some persons to sabotage his efforts. So, and I'm trying to understand what has redesigning the Naira notes and fuel scarcity got to do with your own political as emerging as president of Nigeria, should we say, okay, because of you are running for office of president, so the president should not work with the CBN governor, or the CBN governor should not work with the president to see how to drive a cashless policy um, uh, system or financial inclusive government or something. So I'm trying to understand. I think for me, uh, that's an indication that all is not well with the ruling party. Uh, before now, we have said a lot about PDP being a poor position. They have not done enough uh, in the last uh, seven plus years to prove to us that uh, they are really seeing things and they have alternatives to offer. And then it is now interesting to see APC opposing APC. We have an APC in government, APC party in government, and then we have the leading candidates attacking the leadership of the country, headed by a member of the party and the leadership of the party. So to me, it's an implosion to me because I don't know who actually he was addressing because the president is the minister of petroleum. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so if you are saying Egbe Kokpamo, Ekowo, that is uh, because uh, there's this scarcity we all agree it's artificial but what is the cnc doing mm. if apc candidate is actually now talking back to its own party then what message is he sending across are we, is he not saying that they are powerless are they sabotaging themselves what exactly is the issue with the ruling party that their candidates can be openly, I mean, pillory the president, I mean, not, not a direct one, of course, but everybody who is emotionally intelligent should be able to pick is one or two. Indirectly referring Directly, to the president. Who, who was it? They are the one in power. If there's anybody sabotaging, then arrest them. <laughs> they have all mercenaries of the state in their care. Use them. Let us know what has really caused this, this uh, scarcity. And when you're talking about the redesignation of Nera, I don't see anywhere that concerns them. Because, of course, they still have access to these new notes. They are the ones that still have access to it. Is it saying that the cash that he needs to do vote buying, is it, is it the reason why he's that expressive? Is, it the reason why, is that the reason why he, he spoke that way on the podium in Abekuta? Anyway, I understand you. I think you are making insinuations there. But let's stick to the fact of the matter. <laughs> there, Senator Bola Ametunubu, the um, cashless policy will not in any way affect your politics. So I want to ask you, man, something. What's your thought on denigrating other candidates? You see what happened? I'm going to refer back to Asaba. Before now, Bola Ametunubu, 
him and members of his presidential campaign committee. You see the, their style of politicking. They try to denigrate other uh, political candidates, try to talk ill, say things ill, uh, ill make ill statements about them. And then now, PDP and, and APC are fond of fighting themselves. And then they are fighting, they, and they look at what happened during this uh, last year, Asaba, the rally in Asaba, where uh, Senator Dili Menaye had to put up a rather, should I say, I don't know how to use the right word, it's not too matured, it's, you shouldn't have done that, making reference to someone's health. So what's your thought about denigrating other um, candidates at the expense of speaking up what you want to do? Suleiman, if you could hear me, please. Other candidate, nobody wins, and it's only eat the polity more, especially as we have it now. I can tell you, at least since 1999 to now to present, the polity has never been so tense as it is now. What Senator Dino Melai did in Asaba is very, very unfortunate, and I was even expecting his um, party to condemn such. But this is political season, we all uh, they all. They are looking for an avenue to small to score cheap uh, political points. No one should be denigrated on the status of their health because health and death are things that are not in the hand of man. It's only in the hand of God. You can see an elderly person dying and also at the same time a sick person may even outlive the one that says he's uh, is healthy. I could remember that if something happened in uh, 2014 or 2015, when we were preparing for 2015 elections, there is a particular governor of a state in the South Southwest that even go ahead to buy the front page of newspapers warning Nigerians that do we want another death in uh, Asoro? We all know what happened to the, the said person of recent. The person he said may die. Is still in office looking healthy and, and at the same time the power that person also subject to some health challenges so health is not something or death is not something we should play with as human because each and every one of us can fall sick or even die at any at any time so politicians just as we have been saying is that they should stick to issues let this politics let this be about issues because what concerns nigerians is how do you intend to solve the problem of poverty how do you intend to bring inflation down? How do you intend to solve the uh, issue of number of school and students, out of out of school children? How do you intend to solve the problem of the economy? That is what Russia should be discussing. And I don't know why they are bringing the the the, the so much low debate that um, political campaign or political rally has now become a comedy uh, venue or a gesture avenue for them to mock one another. So I think one thing the official what the media need to do now is that you stick, as, as well as the media has been doing, you should stick uh, ask them, if you stick to issues, that's just it. That's what concerns Nigerians. We never care whoever is uh, the status of uh, uh, how they score their own political points among other things. But let us stick to issues. That's what we really help. And one thing is, is this, um, especially for the major political parties, is that if you keep saying this, well, let's not forget, quality is an emotional game. It's not even about the leader sometimes. There are followers that can do anything just to make sure that their political party emerge or their candidate emerge, whereby the leader will, the, the leader may start the fire. But when the fire starts burning, they may not have control over it. So they should stick to issues. That's my take. Okay, thank you very much, Suleiman. Yeah, so Victor, um, what's your thoughts on um, voters buying on one hand and then the issue of uh, attacking other, you know, you have some ruling candidates or ruling parties on states trying to crush down opposition parties. You don't want them to campaign. You want to fight them. Election toggery and violence. Your thoughts? I have some, uh, not so many thoughts to talk, as I say, around it, because, I mean, uh, politics has been in shambles, right, for several years, right, where we leave the issues and start attacking people. So I believe the people who do those things, I just hope they are watching the advocate now and they should stop doing those things. Thank you very much, Victor. Thank you. So, you see, fellow Nigerians, our good governance, our well-being, our development as a nation is more important than politicking, which is just a vehicle to the destination, which is a great nation. Thank you very much. Victor Oyekiri is next after the break. <laughs>